Okay, so let's look at this chapter. We want to look at first at the center of the gravity, and later on, it's more important for us to look at the central or the center of the area, uh, how we can find it. So, it's a simple example. Assume I have a rod in the x direction, so I can use the rod. Sitting right on the x axis. And then I have y times the axis. Um, I want to find the centroid of that rod, the center of gravity for that rod. Um, for the rod, you know that it's for example, it's going to be right here. And the center of gravity is the point that basically I can replace the entire mass of the object into that point, or can concentrate the entire mass of the object into that point. And it's going to have the same result in case of movement or, or moment or anything else. If I replace the entire mass to a single point, it gives me the same result um, as the entire object. So if I go there and put in in the entire mass at that point, probably W, and then I'm going to call it G. And the distance to that point is going to be My center of gravity is here. G center of gravity. Then assume I go and choose an element, a small element in that object, wherever it is doing. So I choose an element here. A small element there. Uh, and the weight of that small element applied at its center, and assume a small weight here, and call it delta or dw. Distance to that center of element is going to be tilde x tilde. So this is distance to center of. So, if I want to say that if I put the entire weight on the G, this is, has the same effect as the, the small weight of each part at, at its own center. This is basically what I'm saying here. So that if I consider the entire weight at the, at the center, they're going to have the same effect. So, if this one wants to have the same effect as every small element I have here, it means that if I take a moment of this about the y, 
should be equal of the moment of, of all these small elements in water water. It should have the same value. So what's the moment of that will be about the water? If I want to write the moment of W about the Y, the moment about the, about the axis. So it's the force times the arm that goes from the force to the axis, which is going to be X bar. So it's going to be W X bar. Also, this the same moment. should be equal if I add the moment from each of those small elements. So, the moment of this element is delta W times X tilde. And if I add them together, I should have delta W X tilde. So, these two should be equal, correct? If, if I say that, if I go ahead and put it there, so this should be equal, so therefore the W X bar should be equal to sigma delta W by X T bar. So if that is correct, then X bar would be sigma delta w i x tilde i divided by total w or if I want to write it in form of uh, more accurate would be integration of X tilde dW. You can be divided by right of dW or just the W. So if I have it in 3D, so this is a 1D, in 3D, it's going to be very the same, just X bar would be X, that will be what I for it. Sometimes here, instead of W, they just write integration of the W. It's going to be the same thing. Sometimes instead of that, you might just write integration of the W. The Y bar is Y tilde the W. W is Z bar. Um, there's a, in the book, I just write it here in the book, just write it like this. The book. That's it. This, the same. So, the point just the one point here is that the x bar, x tilde, y tilde, 
You can see it till the are central elements. That here, that x tilde is the center of the element. So when you want to solve the problem, you have to assume an element. That x tilde, y tilde, and z tilde are the center of that element. Now, if the body is made of um, constant density, basically it's homogeneous, then the centroid and center of gravity is going to be the same. Okay? So, Central area or central volume, any of them. Depends on if it's 2D central area, it's 3D central volume. So now, now we want to take these concepts, so this uh, center of gravity, and assume that we have a homogeneous body, that the density is constant, and then we will see that how we can find the center of area for two. Uh, any question? Centroid of
This that blue area is the one is, is the place that I want to find in the center. Okay, so the blue is the area I want to find the center. And as soon as it's centroid is sitting somewhere here. So how much is the X for? And the Y bar can be Y tilde T A, Y tilde T A, can be tilde T A, Y tilde Question of the so if I want to solve either of those equations, I need dA. So I have to find a way to find the dA in that shape, and there are many different ways of doing that. So I'm, I'm gonna just say two of them as you can. Work with them. There, there's two way any of the uh, centroid problem that we are given we are going to work with them. Either we are going to write all the equations in as a function of x, regardless what we are calculating for both of them. Either we are write everything here as a function of x, or we write everything here as a function of y. There are two approaches. Either everything as a function of x or either everything as a function of y. So I'm going to first show you how we're going to write everything as a function of x. So again, if I draw that same shape. write everything, I want to write all the equation as a function of x. So here I want to write all equations as a function of x. If I, if I decide to write all the equation as a function of x, I have to consider the element parallel to the y-axis. So 
that the element I want to work with is should be parallel to our axis. So for example, this is going to be my element. This is going to be y equal as a function of x, that line. <coughs> this is going to be dx. tilde and y tilde. x tilde and y tilde was again about the centroid of the element. So if this is my element, the center is a rectangle. The centroid of that rectangle is going to be right in its center. So it's going to be here. This is my center. This is going to be the position for that is going to be x tilde and y tilde, the coordinate for that. So, how much is the x tilde? This is the part that is very important for these two. How much is the x tilde? So the x tilde is going to be just x. Any x, so the x tilde will be x. What about the y tilde? This is going to be the y tilde. How much is that? It's going to be half of the height, correct? The height is y, so half of it is going to be So now I want to write it, so I will go ahead and set it here. X. I want to write everything as a function of x. x tilde is x, it's already a function of x. What about the y tilde? It's half of the y. Is it function of x? Not yet. So I want it to be function of x. I know that the y is fx. So if I replace the y with the fx, whatever it is, assume y is x squared. So if I replace y with the xx squared, so it's going to be fine. So it's going to be half of fx. And how much is the ta? ta is the area of the element. The area of element is dx times y. The area of that element is dx times y, so it's going to be y dx. Correct? That's the, that's the area of the element. Again, it is not function of x. I want it to be function of, completely function of x. So I will go ahead and say, it is, I replace the y with fx of da would be fx dx. So, I use these three equations, all of them as a function of x, I will put them in these two. 
and it gives me the x bar and y bar. The next method is that write everything as a function of y. Here we try to put everything as a function of x. Now we want to write everything as a function instead of writing everything as a function of y. So we'll go ahead and again draw that shape. Again, if I, now, if I want to write everything as a function of y, my element should be parallel to the x-axis. Here, basically, if I want to write everything as a function of x, I should have dx. If I want to write everything as a function of y, I should have dy. So it's going to be parallel to the x-axis. So my element is going to be, for example, something like this. Originally, I know that this is going to be y is equal to fx. I want everything to be written as a function of y. So I will go ahead and whatever equation I have here, rearrange it in this form. x is function of y. Because I want everything to be written as a function of y. So rewrite that equation as a function of y. Now similar to here, I have to go find x tilde, y tilde, and dx. So here, this x tilde, y tilde is the centroid of the element. So any element I have, its center is going to be x tilde, y tilde. Okay. So how much is going to be there? x tilde. f of x. Yes. So, what about the y tilde? Would be minus one. Remember that the position of that point, the position, the coordinate of that point is x one. Anywhere is the head of that element is x one. So. That's going to be our x tilde and y tilde. And now we want to write in. So, x tilde is f of x. But what I want, I want them to be function of y. So I have to go ahead and say, okay, it's half of fy. Replace the x with the fy. 
whatever it is. Whatever it is, we replace it with that. Y tilde is Y. It is already function of Y, so don't need to change it. And dA, dA here is x dy, is the area of that rectangle. Area of the red one, so it's going to be x, the length is x dy. And again, we want everything to be functional y. So I'm going to replace the x with the fy. Now I use this equation to calculate So here's the point I'm gonna Listen here, this is the point. I will calculate both of these either here or here. So I'm, I'm not using both of them. I either use the element like this and go ahead and calculate both x1 and y1, or I use the element like this and go ahead and calculate x1 and y1. So make sure you are not doing it both of them at the same time. So either that one or this one. We'll see in the example, sometimes it's easier to do it this way, sometimes it's easier to do it this way, depending on the shape. So that's the center of the area. The next one is going to talk about this is the centroid of line. You might have a line. So assume I have uh, this I have some shape like this. How far is this center? Centroid is probably going to be, let's say, somewhere here. So, essentially, it might be on the, on the line. 
if for example it's a straight line. But if it's a curved line, most likely it's not on the line, it's somewhere outside that object, the centroid. So assume the centroid is here. So it's outside of that. And that's going to be our x bar and y bar. We are going to have an element somewhere there, DL. So that's the DL. So it's the element there. So the centroid of that element is x tilde and y tilde. The equation for this one is for i equals equal to fx. And so if I want to solve it again, the x bar, so the integration of the x tilde dl divided by the integration of dl. Y bar is Y tilde DL DL Y tilde DL divided by L. So I'm going to bring out that this, the element, and just make it large. That's our element. Okay, so this is DL. The length of the element is dl. So that dl is here. I want to show it here. That is dl. The length of the element. This distance here is. Now it's going to be the same as the previous one. Either we have to write all the equation as a function of x or write all the equation as a function of y. The previous one, we, we choose our element differently, either parallel to x or parallel to y. Here we cannot, here we just have one element, we cannot have any other form of element to do that. So let's first look at it, so how to write All the equations as function of x. So 
six till drop would be x. Y till drop would be y. If you want it to be as a function of x, this would probably be equal to f x. I want to write it as a function of x. Can I go ahead and multiply and divide everything by dx? So it's going to be write it here as 1 plus dy squared over dx squared times dx. So I use this to find x bar and y bar. Similarly, I can write all the equations as a function of what? So, x tilde is x, which is not what I want. So, if this is, then I can write x as a function of y. Can we rearrange that equation? It gives me x as a function of y. So I can go ahead and replace x here as a function of y. The y tilde is y, so that's okay. The dl. This time I'm going to divide it by dy squared, so it's going to be x squared divided by y squared plus y squared divided by y squared, y squared, so dl would be So remember that, let me rewrite this this way, but I want to make sure, these are not the second derivative. Let me write it like this. I want to make sure you are not. So it's the first derivative you want, the power of 2. Same here. This is the first derivative. Not the second derivative. It's the first derivative to the power of two. So 
question. Does he only have lines like this? So you want to find the centroid for that. And centroid for that is going to be somewhere here. So now I have to decide um, if I want to write everything as a function of x or if I want to write everything as a function of y. Have one of those methods I have to choose. Look at here, I already have x as a function of y. You can't rewrite it, but we already have x as a function of y because of that. So I said, I already have x as a function of y. So I'm going to write all equations as function of what? Because I already have it. I need the x tilde, I need the y tilde, and I need the dl. These are the three equations, three formulas I need to put it in that equation for. So, x is cross x tilde. How much the x tilde? 
to just x, correct? And y tilde is y. So x tilde is x, I want it to be as a function of y. So I will go ahead and say x is y squared, so x tilde is y squared. The same for the y tilde, so the y tilde is y is already function of y, so I don't need to do anything. The dl, if I wanted to write everything as function of y, was the dx over dy squared plus 1 dy. Okay. So x is y squared. So dx is two y dy, correct? X is it, so dx is two y dy. So d x over dy would be x or dy is 2y, so it's going to be 2y squared plus 1 dy. So my dl is a function of y. So look at here, x tilde is a function of y, y tilde is a function of y, and dl is a function of y. So all equations that I formula I have are written in function of y. Now I go ahead and replace them with that equation. Is the so now x bar was integration of the x tilde dl divided by integration of the dl. So you don't know the l here is also. So it's going to be x tilde y squared dl is. plus 1 dy and here we have the y squared plus 1 dy so what's the range of the integration? I'm integrating over y in this case most of them are 1 doesn't matter but look at here I'm integrating over y, so my limit is going to from 0 to the y maximum because I'm including dy, so I have to integrate along the y so it's going to go from the 0, from y equal to 0 to y equal to 1 y equal to 0 to y equal to 1 and the same, the y bar is also the same, so it's going to be y tilde dl divided over dl, so it's going to be the y tilde is just y, dl is Same here, again, look at it, because I'm integrating over y, because this is dy is the same thing, so let's go from y0 to y1. So y equals 0 to y1. 
zero to y equal to one. Y equal to zero to y equal to one. And then we can calculate those integration to find the x y and y. Go ahead and put it in your calculator. These are the values you should get so you put it in your cap. 